Okay, hi again, board 16. This time I have a better hand. Well, I would, would like to bid over this one club, but again, I don't have the distribution to enter. I can't double because I only have two little spades. So I don't have a good bid to make, and I don't have a five-card suit to overcall. Now they've alerted the one heart response to one club, and that's a transfer showing spades they're playing. If my partner, we didn't discuss what we do over this transfer, uh, but if we were a regular partnership, we would discuss it at the table before we uh, sat down to play. They would tell us they play transfers and we would, and we would decide what to do over it. Some people, a lot of people play that if you double one heart, it means I would have doubled what they showed, spades. Now she's doing it, she's doubling, but uh, see, she's playing a takeout. So I'll tell her that uh, I just I, I'm telling Sylvia that I I just explained that double was used to take out there. Okay, so now she has a takeout double of spades, and I would like to play. Um, one of the minors. Um, I'm going to risk going to the three level anyway, so I'm going to cube two spades, giving her a chance to bid a minor or to uh, or to bid a five card hot suit. Yeah, she's, she's bid her, uh, she probably has five diamonds, and I'm not going to go further because she's a past hand and an aggressive bidder. And to make a game in diamonds, we'd have to bid for 11 tricks, five diamonds, which is extremely unlikely. I wish to luck. GLP, when you play bridge on computer, usually means good luck, pod. She's, she's in, she has, um, you see, she had a nice hand for a double, even though she didn't have many high cards because she had hearts and diamonds, but many people would not have doubled with her hand because she has spades and no clubs. So she took uh, a youthful view to double once one heart. In other words, normally she would be short in spades, but she isn't. Now she ducked the first spade, which is a nice technique because she's going to have to lose a spade trick in any event, so she might as well lose it right away before before uh, they know what to do with the hand. They might not know to shift to a trump, which might be the best defense to cut down her, her spade and club roughs. But they did shift to a trump anyway, which is a good play. Of course, I shouldn't be saying anything. Sylvia is going to be telling you her 
her line of play from her point of view. Oh, Sylvia has three diamond tricks, and a diamond rough is four, and a spade is five. Three hearts are eight, and a club is nine. So she should be able to make this hand by setting setting up uh, right by by losing the ace of hearts and losing the ace of diamonds. It's possible a uh, a poor split, a four one split in diamonds would be hurtful, but it doesn't look like the diamonds are four one. It looks like. from the play that they're 3-2. See, she counted to nine and, 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 and has her, is drawing trump and she's going to give up a heart and rough a spade in that, that or a club for her ninth trip. Now I feel like the view graph operator, the view graph entertainer, because I'm telling you what she's doing and I'm the dummy. Usually the dummy isn't allowed to talk. This is a really great program. Now the dummy is allowed to talk. I'm going to give her a WD. Well done. 